Hi, it's Tree. Well, tonight when I got to Master Mason's, I just sorry about my nose with my fake fingernail teeth. <laughs> And the runaway tooth, it, look at that, it just keeps going and going, like a tusk or something. Uh uh, it just keeps going and going. I have to get to the dentist, but I decided tonight that I was going to take control of what I was doing instead of just waiting and see what happened. I brought all the crystals with me and so me and my master Mason went to my videos and pulled up the video where I had the picture of Veritas. That's the one that, when the one that's on the tip of my wand broke off over there, at the end, that's when Chance, that 15 year old boy, a spirit or something came through him and named my painting Veritas, and he wrote, he wrote it on the back. Now, I've never heard of Veritas before, I didn't know what it was. Um, I didn't know it meant truth. Only but later did I realize that it was Homer. I call our creator Homer for home. So on my Master Mason's computer, we um, put it up to a video with that painting. And then stopped it and froze it when the painting took up the whole picture, you know, on his computer screen. And then I placed the crystals on the floor in front. And then took up my magic wand. <laughs> And started making circles and started calling upon Veritas. And so me and Master Mason started to sing Veritas. And he's going, who's Veritas? I go, Homer. Well, let's try it. And he said, okay. And then, um, it did like 10 minutes and it didn't seem to be working. And I wanted to stop. And I said, let's just try to get Pendar. He goes, no, let's keep going for Veritas. And so we did about 10 minutes longer. And then energy came through, it started out to be reptilian and then went into like crystal light blue eyes with slits. Real pretty light blue crystal eyes, real serene, like the color of my aquamarine eyes. <laughs> That's what color, glowing, like fluorescent. And the slits in the eyes and that's all that changed this time. And um, I go, is this Veritas? I go, this isn't all of you. He said it was a portion of him as much as he could put in himself, of himself into this dimension, into that body. Because of all the things that that body, the lower vibrations, in order for him to come to this vibration, that's all he could put in of himself. And he started talking with me and I was asking about all the demons from hell that I wanted to keep safe and warm in my crystal. And he told me, that I'm not responsible enough and that's very powerful magic and that I'm careless and I'm not pure and um, that I was already told that I wasn't supposed to put the crystal up by my mouth and my throat and my head and he told me that in one of my previous videos I've made recently that I did that and I have to go back and check so I don't know for sure but he said that I was told not to do that and I did it and I let him all out already I'd already let them all out, and he had to get them back in, and then when he came through my crystal, he sealed the door and put them back in there, back in their cold, dark hell, and I go, but I don't want them to be in that cold, dark hell, and he said that everybody has their own sin that they're paying for in their own place where they're supposed to be, and he said that they will come to me eventually, he'll decide though which ones come and which ones don't, it's up to him. He said, they're not all coming to me. He said, I didn't like that, that upset me. I think they all should, but he said that's up to him. He decides who comes through or not, but he told me that already I'd been careless. So he said, I need to learn magic. This is very powerful magic, and that I'm not responsible enough yet to be able to do that stuff and to have those demons and that I already let them out by putting the crystal by my head and by my throat and my mouth when I was doing the video recently 
and that he had to go get him back and put him back and then when he came through my crystal he sealed the door shut so they're not in my crystal anymore it's just Pendar now Pendar's back here with me um, so I don't have him he said but I'm helping them but they're warmer now he said that that little time that they were there helped them and they got to feel that warmth and that love and now there's a bond and there's a connection so I can still love them and warm them to thinking about them and you know hugging the crystal and thinking about them but that I don't have the key to that door anymore that he locked it on me and then I said well I need some money I go can I, I need some money to get away from Larry he said no I'm not responsible enough. He said I would go spend it on drugs or gambling or stupid shit. And he said that it would also defocus me from what I'm supposed to be doing right now. It's just self-interrogation. I'm supposed to be learning lessons. I go, I gotta stay with Larry? And he said, yes. I go, how long? He said until the, or that dude that I'm not supposed to mention his name anymore, the one the big crystal goes to. He said, until he comes for me. I go, when's that going to be? Five years? He goes, no. I go, three years? He goes, no. I go, two years? He goes, maybe. I go, a year? He goes, maybe. He don't know. But he said, I go, but Leo's, I mean, the, the guy, that, who, the one he don't want me saying his name, the big crystal, um, the, who that one goes to, that he's going to come get me? He said, yes. And I said, is he in danger? And he said, no. He's not in danger. Not this time around. This time around, he's not in danger that there's absolutely no way possible that anybody or anything can get him to hurt him he has the ultimate protection right now the ultimate protection and he told me I had to stay here at Larry's and that I could I go I gotta stay here and he said yes because I'm learning about myself and I'm learning lessons and self-interrogation and plus I need to be alone with myself and told me if I was out there with money and stuff I'd be out there being distracted and probably he said that I'm not that ready or responsible I'm not ready he said I'm not responsible that I'm careless and that I'm I have he said I still have to, I'm just not and so I'm not pure either but he said I have to stay with Larry until that dude that don't want me saying his name anymore that the big crystal goes to comes to get me. Um, um, he told me that um, Pandar can't hurt him, that Pandar is um, experiencing things, you know, through me and that dude who don't want me saying his name anymore, who the big crystal goes to. And that, um, then I talked, okay, and then so, when Veritas has told me that I couldn't, that I'd stay with Larry, you know, I got mad, and I said, okay, I'm, bye, I'm leaving. And I walked away, I broke the channel. So, okay, bye, see ya. I wouldn't want to talk to me anymore. Um, I was mad. And so, then I mean, Master Mason started singing, Inashia. Wait. Oh, Veritas. Veritas. <laughs> and we started singing the Master Mason with the Inashia. Inashia. And that's my magic aquamarine, you know. And the aquamarine is so pure in the heart of the mermaid. And it, um, what the, that stone does is every demon that comes through gets purified, washed, a bunch of bad stuff washed away and gets purified with love. So nothing evil could come through my crystal and could go out evil because of, there's like a protection because that because in Ashiana my crystals are pure. You are so clean and so pristine and so pretty. And Master Mason gave me this tonight. Look, it's got like a crystal in it. Like it looks like kind of like an Ashiana, and it's got look, these little colors. Can you see? Like that. 
And then that one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> my Master Mason gave that sneak sight. <laughs> we were singing in Asiana. My Master Mason had the cane and the, 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 my wand, and he kept feeling it up and down in the stone with the little veritas, you know, the aquamarine on the end. And he was like, like holding it near, near his mouth and rubbing it on his cheek. And he don't remember any of this. He don't even remember singing in Asiana. But he was like, holding it like an up and down and rubbing you know and holding it and like really just singing and then it calmed everything and purified everything and then we chanted for Pendar and then I got Pendar and Pendar's all mad at me <laughs> he was a little he's like I want to get in that dude that I'm not supposed to say his name he's like I want to get in him and I need to get in him and I'm like no you can't you can't and uh, the only way you can come through is to be warm through the wound. And um, then there's some things that I asked Veritas and Pendar, personal things about that dude. I'm not supposed to say his name anymore, so I can't tell any more about that. <sighs> but um, I guess um, all the demons from hell now are back in hell, and that's where the ones that the reptilians they're inhabiting human bodies and they die. That's where they're going to go. And then Homer, our Veritas, our creator, you know, Osiris, before he was slain, if you will, um, he's the one that will decide who comes through. Um, but right now it's just Pendar with me and my energy field and my crystal. And um, uh, Pendar, when he can leave my leave my, you know, you can like warm up and sleep in my energy field and then the crystal and stay warm and then go out and travel around. But when he's out traveling around, he's going to be able to see you guys and travel the world or whatever. But yeah, you know where he's going though. He's spending all his time with that dude who I'm not supposed to say his name. You know, trying to understand him and stuff. But he, Pandar can't hurt nobody. He can't hurt anyone. And he can't inhabit anybody's body. The only time he can is when Master Mason gives permission and we do the chant. And, um, <laughs> I'm trying to stay with Larry until that dude comes to get me. What if that dude never comes to get me? I got mad. I was like, I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> Walked away and broke the channel. I was like, okay, I need some money. He said, no. I go, I want those demons from hell with me. And he said, no. I already let him out, silly, not even knowing what I was doing. Putting him that crystal up by my head, I guess. I'm going to have to look and find out what video I did that. So I knew I was told that. And then he said in the recent video that I put the crystal up by my head and by my throat and by my mouth and let him all out already. But today when I was walking, somebody that, out of the blue, that um, knew Valerie, actually was walking. I seen her at the corner where I was pushing my dogs in the shopping cart. And she had a picture of Valerie before she died. Valerie and Scooby. There's Valerie before she died. Look at her. So sad. She lost so much weight and she died of cancer. But Pendar, she's the only one that ever went with me to see the shape ship. You know, the Pendar had it, my Master Mason. And Pendar said that she was the only one that he'd ever seen with all the colors of the rainbow and her aura the way they were. And that her aura was older than recorded time. So she's like was part of the human part of the slaughtered mermaid to seven or something. So Val Valerie's a part of the Nashiana, which is what I call the Aquamarine. But I hate it that I don't get my way. And they took my demons away from me. He took them away and locked the door and I can't get to them. 